Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Art Bruckwald, your Los Gatos reporter. In the top headlines tonight, the Los Gatos High School students threatened today to go on strike. They said, I quote, if the school system makes school all year round, at least we insist that they give us at least a two week all paid vacation to Hawaii every two weeks. The Teachers Association said that to go along with that, uh, they'll go along with that as long as they get to go on the vacation too. No comment yet from the school board. Monte Serino has a new business, a combination laundromat and disco club called the Disco Laundromat Club. The same owner is planning to open a punk rock pet store club in Los Gatos and sometime in the near future also a possible new wave Kmart club is being considered. And other stories tonight. McDougal's restaurant said today that they are changing the name of the Whopper ha Burger to the Judge Wapner Burger. They say he's a judge with good taste and they want to see if he's a judge that would taste good. So when you taste it, you can be your own judge. Well, the weather for tomorrow is going to be sunny blue skies unless otherwise notified. And the sports scores are 2 to 3, 5 to 4, 4 to 5, and 6 to 3, and 2 to 1, and 4 to 4, which was a very exciting game, and I'm sure that no one wanted to miss it. Thank you. This is Art Buckwald. Until next time, your roving reporter in Los Gatos. Thank you. Good night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm your game show host, Eric Sams. And on tonight's game, we're going to... No, 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 no. This is uh, Eric Sams' uh, Stay Tuned talk show. And on, uh, for tonight's guest, we have here Mother Goose, uh, alias Mary Foster. And uh, she's going to be our guest on tonight, and we're going to talk to her about, uh, about goosing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we might say that. We might say that. Yeah. Okay, well, we, uh, how did you become Mother Goose and all? Maybe you can uh, first explain that. How did I become Mother Goose? I mean, well, weren't you undaunted by a fairy coming and you are Mother Goose? Oh, Ding. no. Well, I'll tell you. Um, my children all grew up. Mm-hmm. And there were six of them. And I love parades. So when they grew up, they wouldn't go to the parades with me anymore. And uh, I was very upset about that because, you know, it's like going to the circus without children. Mm -hmm. So I decided, OK, so I'll join the parade. And I did. In fact, t today you just got back, well, actually tomorrow, which is a week ago, yesterday, which is yeah. tomorrow's yesterday. It which is the uh, Las Gatos <laughs> Christmas Parade. Right. That's why we're all dressed up uh, all Christmassy here, yeah. because we wanted to, uh, you know, look Christmassy in the parade. Yeah. And, uh, oh, it's a lot of fun. So you definitely then got in your parade, didn't you? This is you? the tenth, uh, tenth time, I think, that I've uh, been in the parade. Yeah. Well, uh, I missed it last year. Maybe, maybe it's the ninth. Maybe the ninth time. Yes. Well, you'd have to guess go into your VCR and the tapes and and look at the uh, the parade and see if... Uh, I know I missed it last year. You did miss it last yes. year. They probably uh -huh. missed you, too. Uh, that's uh, what a few people told me. Yeah. Which so is very nice. Now, what do you... What, uh, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, do you get in a car or do you... you oh, no, no, no. I like to get out there where I can, you know, walk down the street mm -hmm. and say hi to people and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want them looking at a car. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't we, Aunt Elizabeth? You, you didn't what? introduce. Yeah, we, Aunt Elizabeth's here. Is this? This is Aunt Elizabeth. Hi, Aunt Elizabeth. And isn't she just absolutely adorable in all this Christmas regalia? Oh, she, she is, and all. Yes. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's just very thankful that Thanksgiving is over. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> she, that's her least favorite uh, holiday. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. comes right after that, of course, uh, Christmas. Christmas. Well, I promised her uh, no Christmas goose. That's no, good. That's no. good. We'll go back to a turkey. <laughs> or maybe a ham. Who knows? Uh, well, we got a ham right here, and I'm talking to you. Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, in fact, uh, w what do you do as, as Mother Goose and all? What are, your, what are the kind of, you know, I mean, well, like, are you a diplomat? And um, 
Oh, sure. Um, my um, intention in this is to promote poetry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, you teach poetry, don't you? Or yes, uh, little workshops up at Lexington School up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And we just, as a matter of fact, last June, we had our 20th annual poetry festival. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that was great. Now, what kind of, uh, I mean, in fact, would you happen to have like a poem with you or something? or Just happen to have a poem. Yes, or two. I like them segues, I'll tell you. Oh, and also in a few minutes, we're going to introduce some of the kids around here. And right. And uh, well, would you kids like to hear a poem? Sure. There Thank we you, go. Jessica. There we go. All right. This is called the Reindeer School. Way up north in the ice and snow, there's a school going on while the cold winds blow. A special school not meant for boys and girls where classes are held among white snow swirls. The teacher is jolly and full of good cheer, and his students are eight tiny reindeer. They learn prancing and dancing and galloping too, all for the love of bringing presents to you. That's sweet. You like that? I do. That's uh, a modern mother goose. You want some more? Oh, sure. Yeah, why don't you sure. read another one? Um, um, I was curious. Now, are these from you that you wrote yourself? These are my own. <laughs> You'll see when I get a, an urge. You know, this is a scrap of paper that was laying around. And oh, you're like Lincoln. You write what on Auto whatever's Electro handy. Electrolyte Corporation. Oh, my goodness. Is but that he, the name of the poem, Electrolyte no. Corporation? <laughs> uh, it sounds like an interesting no. one. I mean, the book is much prettier, you know. But this is uh, whenever I get... Uh, an inspiration, I'll just grab the first piece of paper. I don't know where that, you know, some junk mail. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good place to get scrap yeah, that's paper. That's what I was going to say. It's a yes. perfect place to get yes. scrap papers, junk mail. And remember when you were a little kid, you could... Pardon me? <laughs> when I was you a little kid? Yes. Yes. I, I remember when I was a little kid. I, I was small back then. Right. And all of you children, oh, it's so exciting that week before Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh. oh. There are it times. It seems like it forever. There, I, can I just mention one quick thing? Um, there are times when I was a kid that I would just, I don't know about you kids, but I would just wait up before Christmas, right? And I cannot get to sleep or anything. <laughs> and I went downstairs one time and there was nothing there. And I said, uh oh, oh, nothing there. I went back upstairs. About five to ten minutes later I went down there. I had hamsters. <gasps> hamsters in the living room. Really? Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and uh, uh, they were just like in this little cage and everything. It was Is so that thrilling. Right. Mm -hmm. By the Christmas tree, yes. By the Christmas tree, yeah. yeah. In fact, they I were eating up the Christmas tree. They were just oh, tearing right? to pieces and everything. Oh. It was terrible. <laughs> it was the one of the worst Christmas. No, it was oh. a beautiful Christmas. It was really sure nice. It was. That's great. Well, Santa saw you go back up to bed, so he decided. Exactly. Well, okay. Like now magical. Yeah. Well, this is um, I didn't mean to about a little child, or a lot of children, the week before Christmas. How many days till Christmas, Mommy? How many days for Tommy and me? How many times on my finger and toes? How many days till the waiting goes? How many days till the greatest day? How many times for presents so gay? How many times do I go to bed? How many days till sle Santa's sled? <laughs> That's Do you another. think like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then speaking of Santa's sled, I didn't ask you if you wanted another one, but you're getting another one. Hey, go for it. <laughs> you know, this, right. one, this one was uh, prompted by one of my uh, youngsters mm -hmm. who suddenly said one day, Mommy, it's got to snow. And I thought, hmm. We don't have snow that up. What brought this on? I said, well, why do it? Does it have to snow? <laughs> and so his um, concern is in this poem here. It says, please snow. I hope it snows on Christmas Eve, just before Stan Santa starts to leave. Snow on mountains and valleys, too, and on the streets and houses. Oh, please do, because Santa's sleigh we haven't forgotten, should never be scratched on its shiny bottom. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. I mean, I never thought of that. 
with his little five-year-old. Definitely was concerned about it. Well, in fact, in fact, we got some kids here. Hold on a second, folks. And we got some kids here. In fact, I'd like to get everybody's name. Your name is? Crystal Pate. Crystal, that's a pretty name. You're wearing a very pretty dress there, I'll tell you that. So, now you just, I bet you just can't wait for Christmas, right? Yeah. Now, have you ever, in fact, have you ever played in the snow? Yeah. Yeah, you like the snow? Yeah. Okay, what do you do with the snow? What do you, when you play in the snow, what do you do? I make snowmans. Snowmans? Do you ever, do you ever make like a, uh, uh, a snowball and throw it? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, well, now, what, your name is? Kim. Kim, what's your full name? Kimberly Pate. Kim, no, Kim, what's your last name? Pate. Kimberly Pate. Now, you, you've played in snow, right? Yeah. Yeah, you like to make snowmen and snowballs and throw them and all? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen Santa Claus? No. Yeah, I, I saw him once. I did. He made me an honorary elf once. <laughs> yeah, probably had a little too much at the time, but he made me an honorary elf at the once. Now we have here, who, what's, what's your name? Can you tell him your name? See, my name is Jessica Chaplin. Wow, you speak rather well for a child your age. <laughs> Say, I'm two years old. Uh, you're two years old? She just had a birthday. Look at those pretty brown eyes. Oh, I think And such pretty? blonde hair, I'll tell Look you. at all of those curls. She's oh, a beautiful wow. lady. And it's Jessica? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jessica. Who's this over here, Jessica? Who's behind you? What's your name? BJ. BJ? Oh, okay. What's your last name, BJ? Pate. Pate. We have sisters. Oh, we have three sisters. sisters. We have three. We have Not the Pate one. sisters here. Yes. Yes. And uh, that's a pretty. That's. I like how you, what you've done with your hair, and you got a pretty dress on too. Well, what do you think? Thank you. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> have you played in the snow? Yes. And, and and do you like Santa Claus? Yeah. Have you seen him? No. No. If you if you had a snowball, would you throw it at Santa? No. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> have you have you ever like uh, seen any of his reindeer? No. None of his reindeer. Or anything? Have you you never heard him on Christmas Eve? No. But do you wait up for him? No. No. What, what do you do? You go to bed like you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you figure he'll just be there. How everything will be there in the morning and taken care of, right? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. That's great. In fact, uh, what I want to do, you do, in fact, some stories, too, right? Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, now and then. In fact, in fact, you've done a lot of interesting things. In fact, you just recently went to Japan, right? Right. Oh, that was the most fantastic experience. What was I that like? a month over there. Well, eating a lot of raw fish, Ooh. which some of it I like. Ooh, uh, you know, you know it's, it's sushi, right? Right. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. as people say, yeah. you know, to me, that's like well, bait all, you use to catch yeah. fish. <laughs> not all of it was sushi. I mean, sushi is usually wrapped around something or in something, mm -hmm. you know. But a lot of this was just uh, just plain in once. <laughs> there was raw horse meat. Ooh. Ooh. And you, you don't insult the people by not eating, you know. You don't? No. Uh, that's not polite. Well, the Japanese are very polite. You well, you, just ha you can always politely say, excuse me, I'm having a hemorrhoid at the moment. <laughs> Doctor says I can't have raw to horse meat. Even, Gosh to darn make, it. To make it. One even, of my favorite meals. <laughs> to make it even more, it was dipped in raw egg. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, but like anyway, it. it was a fabulous, fabulous experience. And we always sat on the floor, you know. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. that, that I, can, I can eat off, you know, well, not the floor, but I mean, I can sit down on the well, floor. Well, I'll tell you. Eric, those people are so clean, yeah. you could eat off their floors, no problem. Yeah. Cleanest people I have ever known. Hmm. Yes. I, I didn't know that. Well, they really are. Look out. And they're, they're beautiful, loving people. Yeah. Look out in France, though, I hear. I got to stay in their homes, you know. 